Hey everyone, so Lick Friday, week 205. Now this one is a pentatonic linking lick where we're going through, effectively, if we're using or counting the open strings as a shape, which we should be in a way, um, E minor, so shape one, two, three, four, and then into five, and then back into shape one again, up the octave. Um, it's, it's a cool little lick, but this is your, your lick this week. <laughs> So there you go, so you've got the link inside of things where you're you're kind of pedaling back and forth with your hand going to the same lick and then into a new shape, same lick, into another shape, etc, etc. Um, if you want the tab for it, it's on my website which is dansguitar.com, please go along, download it and you will have that there ready to go, it makes it a lot easier to understand. And if you would like to have the jamming track which I've played over on this video, um, You've got one of two options. You can wait until the end of the video where there's the, the smaller taster version of it, um, which is around about one and a half to two minutes long, or you can go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash dance page, link there and down below, same as the website. Um, and you can uh, go onto the Jam Zone tier system, which is $5 a month, and then you've got access to all of those jam tracks that are on there to download and do what you like with, basically. I am going to leave you with a breakdown in just a second, but before I do, please follow the social media stuff, which is all linked in that description below, and check out hashtag 7 Riffs videos as well, because the latest one, um, at the time of recording this Lick Friday, is the Guy Griffin one from the Choir Boys, uh, going through some of the Choir Boys um, riffs, so if you like good old-fashioned kind of rock and roll um, and uh, you like the choir boys even you know and if you like the Rolling Stones for that matter then check out that video because it does show you the ways of those riffs and you'll be able to relate the Rolling Stones tuning so the open G tuning to the choir boys stuff and actually it'll make learning the Rolling Stones stuff a lot easier there you go anyway let's get on with that breakdown Starts easily with the 3 5 hammer on to that second string. So open E string and then to the 5 on that second string. And this is kind of like a reoccurring pattern apart from the note which you hang on with vibrato moves from the 5 to the 8 to the 10 to the 12. Um, so you end up with that 3 5 open E. back to the open E string okay so and then you've got 3 5 hammer open E string 8th fret 2nd string and then the open E string again and as you do those 5 and 8 make sure you hammer on as well not hammer on uh, vibrato add that little bit of flavor into it it's going to be quite tricky to do that because you're coming straight back off of it in effect so and then to the next little one which is the 3-5 hammer open E string to the 10 on that second string with vibrato and then the open E string again so and try and dig into that 5, 8 and 10 It'll make that lick just stand out and sing, basically. Then the last one, we've, we've got 3-5 hammer again in the open E. And then 12. And then you've got that open E again, which ends with... Which is a nice little standard pentatonic pattern, if you like, where we've got the 12th fret first string. So the 15 pull off to the 12 on the second string. Then you've got 15, 12 pull off again to the 14 on the third string. So, and then the last little bit is four notes on that, which is the 12 second string, 14, 12 third string pull off, and then 14 on the uh, fourth string, the D string. And then do what the hell you like after that. Um, so I'll play that slow for you now. So At 
the end again. So what have you done this week? Well, you've learned how to link five positions of the pentatonic. That in itself is such a wonderful thing to do and you can learn a lot from doing so. You've learned to go from a lower pentatonic up the octave if you like and you're sort of moving yourself further up each time you go. So that again is based on building your accuracy. Um, and also you've got that little lick at the end which is a type thing which just makes a little bit of fun at the end doesn't it so the jamming track is available at the end coming up in just a second but it's only the taster version if you want the full jamming track which I do recommend because it is such a good jamming track to play over and there'll be a jam coming up with me and Dan yep done it again it's a two Dan jam um, that will be coming up soon so I think that will go live sometime this week but we shall see um, anyways, there you go. I'll leave you with that thought. Please go with the Patreon stuff and the website, which is all linked there down below. Social media, hit that bell button, like, share, subscribe, and hashtag Lick Friday and Lick Note and Seven Riffs as well in all your social medias. Thank you so much for your help. You are all awesome. I'll see you next week for 30306. There you go. Haha, <laughs> please.